got him, whatever that is. I got him. I got it. Oh, what is it? What is it? Oh, it's a good one. Hey y'all, in today's video, I'm going to be using the live scope to catch crappie off of standing timber. Hey, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate your support. Hey, we're going to get to it. And today, today's jig, first jig anyway, is going to be this little old blue and white pink-headed thing right here. We're going to, we're not in but 12, 12, 8. There's all kinds of fish of some sort down around that tree. I see a bunch of fish down there towards the base of it. We're going to set it down there toward the bottom of it and see what happens. See if there's anything down there. When you're fishing standing timber like this, there's there's always going to be an area that's better than the other, obviously. Um, but right now, I'm shoot, I'm finding them in all different stages. You know, like I said, I'm 12, 12, 9 right here. I don't know if there's any in here or not. It looks like there might be some. Um, I've caught them down in 25 foot, 30 foot, 20 foot. Seems like they're just all scattered about now. Um, and you can just pick your poison. Looky there. I got one ran shoot. Just started. I'm telling you what. Yeah, so you can just pick your pick your poison pick your area and whatever you want to do and just get after it i mean fall is a great time to be fishing a lot of people are hunting which normally i am too but uh it's an excellent time to come out and catch a mess of crappies nice black crappie right there Let's see if there's any more down there at the base of that tree And I'm telling you what, he was mad at that thing. Knocked the fire out of it. Let's see if there's a buddy of his down there somewhere. God, wait, mom, shoot. Oh, no, he ain't. What is that? Oh, it's a crappie, but he ain't very big. Man, I tell you what, I done found a nest of them. There's number two. We ain't been here five minutes. And I just found this stump. You may not believe that, but all I did was just come up here and uh, I was going to run over it <laughs> with the boat. I saw it. I thought, well, I'll shine down there and see if there's any fish down there. And it looks to me like there is. I mean, it's a pretty simple pattern. All you got to do is find some timber in an area and start using this live scope to see if you can locate some fish around it i mean it's it's very simple it's it's almost as easy as fishing the bridge right now that bridge fishing right now i'm telling you it is unbelievable let's see if there's another one down there I got that one, another one off of it. Okay, I knew there were several more down there. They're just being stubborn there for a minute. Another good one. And I tell you what, these are hitting a whole lot harder than them up around the bridge. another one man I like fishing this shallow shallower timber like this you just uh, all you got to do your rod you know this is a, a 12 foot rod here I always have a link of the, for these down in the description too I know of uh, my video there I, I like them you know they're fairly cheap and they're good rods so but i just it's 12 foot all i got is the length of the rod line let out no reeling or anything you know just dab it around down there 
There's a couple good ones sitting right there. Right there. Let's see if we can see if we can get one of them out of there. They may be largemouth or something. They not want to bite. Uh oh. I got him! I got him! I got him! I think it was a largemouth. Golly! Oh, it's a drum! Dang Gasper Goose sitting down there. Shoot! He knocked the fire out of it too. He's lucky I ain't catfishing. Might have him on a hook. Oh, he done tore my, tore my bait off there. That's sorry, sucker. There he is. There he is. Here, let me rub a little. I left my dang nibbles at home. But this right here. Works pretty dang good. Got my scent all on there off of that fish. Okay, let's see here. Right over there is where he was, but. I see another one right up there. Looks like it got a couple on it. Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> Golly. Oh, Lord, I tell you what, man. This is fun stuff, man. These fish are hitting this thing so hard. Come here, you. Open your mouth. I mean, they are knocking the fire out of this thing, man. And they're good ones, too. Oh, he, he ain't very big, but boy, he hit it hard. He thought he was a big one. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, he thought he was a big one. There he goes back down to that tree. A big old bass or something hanging on that tree. Right about halfway. There it is. Here I get it. I got it. There's another drum. Golly. Woo. What is it? It is another goo. Hey, go on. Those things. Hey, let go of that. I tell you what, them things are strong there. Especially on these 12 foot rods. Man, they are good blue cat bait, too. Yeah, 
He was up on the side of that tree. Oh, you got him. Crappie sitting down there. That's the first white one so far. Hey, but they are, I'll tell you what, there's no guessing when they hit it. They try to jerk it out of your hands. Another something right over here. Maybe a crappie or a drum. I got it. Another good crappie. Another good one. Nice one. And they, I mean, it's easy. It's easy. You get this jig around them, man, they're going to eat it. Look at all the fish glistening on that tree right there. I mean, they're down there. All kinds of fish in there. Large mouth, crappies, all kinds of drums, catfish. There he is. Golly, another good old drum, man. Dang, them drums are thick in here. Good gosh, look at him pull. Dang. Oh, he got loose. Dang, gumming things hit hard. What are they doing all piled up in here? You talking about fun, though. Goodness, they pull. I got him. Another good one down there. Another nice one. Hey, hey, don't be taking a leak all over me. What's the matter with you? Another nice fish. See if there's more down there. Got him! Got him out of there! I knew there'd be another one down in there. Another nice fish. Gosh. Another good one. Like I said earlier, all I'm doing, I'm up in this 13, 14 foot of water, stump to stump, man. There's two or three, sometimes more, on each stump. Another typical fall pattern. Some of them you'll find uh, groups of black crappie. Some of them there's a few white crappie down in there. These are easier to catch than those out in that deep water, man. I'm going to tell you. These you can really see your jig well. Especially if you're just learning to fish with the live scope. 
you can see your jig well the, their fish are very aggressive it's not a a light bite by no means there he is you just drop it on them and they get it i mean it's it's that that quick that simple right now i mean it's it's a whole lot easier than trying to catch them out of the 25 20 25 30 foot water when they're up in this shallower stuff like this and they're they're biting you know before before i had live scope this is how i'd fish i'd just go from stump to stump now i was looking for visible stumps um now i can see uh, you know a few of them that are under the water that i ordinarily wouldn't have found you know just uh old, the old school way but so if you you know if you don't have a live scope you can still get out and go from stump to stump to stump and catch fish you may not catch as many but you if you work at it you're gonna catch a <laughs> you're gonna catch a limit i believe especially if you hit enough of them i mean that's that's basically what it is is uh you know just hitting as many stumps as you possibly can Drop, dropping that jig or minnow or, or whatever it is that you choose to fish with in front of enough of them and uh you'll you'll get them i mean you you get it in front of enough fish now this thing obviously it's going to help because it, it it allows you to see if there's one down there or not is where you would never know if there's any down there just by fishing with a regular graph but that's how we all did it prior to getting a live scope you know we just stump to stump to stump to stump Oh, that's it right there he's not a big one but he's still fish they're just hanging real tight on the edges of this timber most of them are going to be closer to the bottom in this shallower water too that's what's that's what's good about uh not, you know like i said you don't necessarily have to have a live scope because a lot of them are right there down there close to the bottom and you can just fish fish down to the bottom and reel it up a turn and you don't get one off of that one you go to the next one Got him. Got him. That in there was swimming. I just pitched it over at him swimming, man, and snatched him out of there. Another nice fish. To make sure that jig. If you're fishing an individual fish, make sure that jig is the same brightness as the fish you're after. Like that, and you'll get them out of there. Like that, right there. You just got to make sure that it's the same brightness you just want to make sure that it's the same brightness every time as your jig is when you get down in there there you go girl
caught him right there. I got him. Oh, sand bass. There ain't white bass hanging on a tree down there. He lost. He done lost his school, didn't he? He's just sitting on a tree just like everything else. I got him. I got him. There he is, another one. I'm telling you, we're plucking them off. Quick and easy. I got him. What do I got? Another drum, catfish, can't have a fishing for crappy day without catching a catfish, always got to catch some of these, it just wouldn't be complete if you didn't catch a catfish. Alright y'all. I moved locations. I'm at a little deeper water now. That area that I was in, up in that creek, the wind quit blowing and I was about to suffocate in there. So we're going to try out here a little deeper and uh, see what we can figure out real quick. <clears throat> I ain't going to stay much longer. I've caught a lot. And uh, I see one sitting right there on the side of this tree. We're going to just see if we can't catch a few of the ones that are hanging around this deeper timber see what happens I got him, I got him myself I got him I knew there was some down here in this deeper water not a bad one Yeah, see, it just depends on what you want to do. If you like fishing for these in the deeper water, you can do it. You like fishing a bridge, you can do that. You like fishing shallow stumps like I was doing earlier. You can do that. I prefer that. That's fun. I got him that time. I told you these in this. That's a nice one too, there, buddy. These out here are relating a little deeper. Boy, you think he didn't want it? Look where it's at. Another nice one. These are hanging down there at about 20, 22 foot. I got him, whatever that is, I got him. I got it. Oh, what is it? What is it? Oh, it's a good one. Big old drum. Is that what it is? I got him. Oh, Lord, it is a big old drum. Look. <laughs> big old rascal. There you go. I 
Okay. I don't know what they're good for. Other than catfish bait. Man, they're fun to catch. Got him out of there. Man, he was way down in there too. Another good big one. Another big old female. And they are eating it when you get it down there too. Ah, eating it when you get it in there. Look at that. Yeah. Look at it down in there. Man, I could have had a mess of them today. Big ones. Nice fish. Here she goes. Ah, there he is. He come on out of there and got it. Another good crappie. Come here, you girl. Look at that. Oh, shoot. And I'll tell you what. You think they ain't eating it? I mean, every time you get one, it's down in there. Every time. Hey y'all, I hope y'all found something useful with this video. Um, if nothing else, I hope it showed you that there's several different patterns going on right now uh, in the fall. And uh, there's actually one more. I think I'm going to try to do that if I get time here in the next week or so. Um, but I uh, had a great time catching those fish. I, 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 there's fish on bridges there's fish on standing timber in deep water and there's fish on shallow timber so and there's fish on open points maybe that's the next one that i'll show you i uh, if, if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and uh, i appreciate you guys watching we'll see you on the next one thanks for joining me